Hi, hey guys, uh, welcome to the next video. Um, I'm gonna be reacting to what Charlie has to say about um, the DLC on whether it's too difficult or not. Um, or like his thoughts on it, and then um, I might do something. Uh, I need to work on my review next to the DLC, so that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Let's see what he has to say. Let's see what I have to Hope say. Hope you've got your umbrellas out because it's about to start raining with my tears. I'm going to go on a passionate rant here, and it might ruffle a few feathers, but you know what? Facts don't care about your feelings, and I'm about to start spitting those. Right. There are so many people whining about Elden Ring's DLC being too hard. Let that sink in for a moment. For actual years now, one of the most prevalent memes in the gaming community is how bad game journalists are at the games they review. Yeah. So the community has constantly dropped trouser and taken a shit on them anytime they mention the difficulty of a game being too hard. And now that Elden Ring DLCs dropped, there are so many players that are now leaving so many negative reviews because they think the DLC is unfairly difficult. You either die a gamer or live long enough to see yourself become a journalist. The shoes are- <laughs> He's not wrong. Oh, that's great. Yeah, no, that, that, uh, this is kind of really fucking funny that people, like, journalists, uh, saying the DLC is bad. Or, like, El they said Elden Ring was bad because it was too difficult. And now it's, it's the Elden Ring community is saying the DLC is too hard. It's not. It really isn't. It's it's such a good DLC. It's ah. Oh. It's on the other foot here. So now there's people just fucking moaning about it being too difficult and being upset about that. Now, contrary to what some Twitter rage bait engagement is trying to lead you to believe, not every bad review of the DLC is about it being too difficult and, and like soiling their diaper about it. No, some there some. Uh, some people are complaining about how there isn't a lot in the map for the DLC. Like, um, there isn't a lot of um, dungeons or stuff, or caves or stuff like that. But just fair. Um, well, like, hold on. It's fair that there isn't a lot of them because they're so specifically crafted. That is what I meant to say. Like, and they're like multi-tiered, like instead of it being a five minute venture through a cave and fight a fucking boss, it is 20 to 45 minutes of going through a cave or um, catacomb or something like that. Ugh. Or exploration and stuff to do in that cave or catacomb or gal or jail or however you want to say it. So it makes sense that there's su such a limited supply of them and those reviews about there not being a lot to do, like there's not a lot of caves or things to explore like that, it's stupid because they're so specifically crafted, they're fantastic. Um, so those reviews are kind of whack. There are some legitimate complaints about it, like a lot of people are citing uh, performance problems, like a lot of issues. Okay, yeah, there, there was performance problems, but like, there's some stutter areas where like FPS drops. I was having some issues, but that was because I was using a different controller connected to a cord of a different controller, and for some... Oh. Wait, put in the... Um, it, I was using, this controller, on this controller's cord, and for some reason, my PC did not like that one bit, and it was fucking everything up, um, honestly, like, to the point where, like, it was unplayable, and I don't know why I was doing that. And it's kind of frustrating that I was doing that. 
um because that one the x button on this is fucking gets sticky and like sticks at times that one not yeah uh, i do buy a new controller or pc gaming um but yeah that that was causing my pc to like drop fps to the point where like my screen would go black and then do a bunch of other shit i don't know but i fixed it i figured out that i just have to stick with that controller and i beat the dlc with a busted controller um so it's not too difficult if i was able to do that with the dlc itself from the performance side of things i haven't had any problems personally but if that is something people are experiencing that's a very legitimate reason to leave a bad review but a lot of the performance reason why there's such bad fps drops is the amount of things that pop up like the flowers or the the um the ghost gravestone there's just the way they load in it fucks with the uh, fps with I don't there know. is a There's ton of people leaving it. bad reviews about the difficulty. That is actually true. It's just not all of them. There's yeah. so much to unpack here, and it's time for a little tough love. So, I am a huge fan of Souls games. My favorite genre of video game is Souls-like. I play Tip. all of them. Not just, like, the FromSoft games, but all games in this genre. So, even the super stinkers like Lords of the Fallen. I try them all because I, to beat I Lords of the Fallen. really love this I genre like Lords of, of the Fallen, like the new and one. And Elden Ring I is tied for my favorite Souls it. game in existence. It's tied with Bloodborne. And the DLC, I think, is extremely good. It's not perfect. There are legitimate complaints to have about it. But one of them is not the difficulty. This fucking DLC comes with built-in training wheels, should you choose to activate them, with the Skadu Tree Fragments. As you collect these throughout the world, you'll get a boost to your offensive and defensive capabilities, serving as a permanent boost to DLC damage dealt and negation. So if you're tired of banging your head against the wall, getting your butt cheeks blasted by whatever boss you're stuck on, make like Marco Polo and explore the land, collecting these sacred Dragon Balls here so that way you can have an easier time with the bosses. Or you could subscribe to the ancient belief system and just get good. Just be better. Elden Ring is also a game, really every Souls game, has always been a series really, where it's as difficult as you make it. There yeah, are broken builds that you can use, especially in Elden Ring. There's full-blown mechanics that are there to help you through difficult challenges with summoning. You can just use a mimic tier to help you get through a boss. You don't have to go summonless. Like if you're no, struggling you to, to a point that you're about to cast self-destruct like a vault. I chose to go summonless because I wanted the added difficulty because I, I knew that it would be too easy for me specifically if I use summons. Um, some people, it's fine if they use summons. You know, like, I'm not the toxic souls like player that's like, you're ass if you use summons. No, it, they're there for a reason. The game is built around that, like, the aspect of having that. So it doesn't, like, I am all for using any method to do what you need to do. I'm the dude that reached level 700 on Skyrim on a character on the 360 just to fucking steamroll through shit. Like, I am all for broken shit. I, but like, I know myself and like, I wouldn't enjoy it as much if I didn't challenge myself a little bit. And that's why I went summonless. Um,. And if I wanted more of a challenge, I would do. I would have went schedule tree fragment list, but I I wanted to use them because they were there for a reason. Alt Torb and leave a incendiary negative review on Steam because you can't beat the dancing lion. Just use a fucking summon. You aren't good enough to do it without clearly. And what are you trying to prove anyway? Just use a summon, exactly. get to the boss, yeah. and enjoy the game. Like it's not like you're out here trying to prove yourself as a man or whatever. Just use a summon. And At the end of the day, Elden Ring is just a game. It's not a fucking status, like, position or things. Like, I beat Elden Ring summonless. I beat the DLC summonless. Look how good I am. No. I mean, there's gonna be people that go through the DLC. Moon level one. Scatter tree fragmentless. Fucking with, uh, fists. I mean, okay, cool.
You do you, man. That's awesome. That's great content. You're making your mark with a game. You're making your mark with a company. That's awesome. You do you. I might not choose to do that. That's me. That's fine. Everyone's different, you know? And that's fine. In that case. Like, I saw so many reviews saying, like, I refuse to summon, but I also can't beat any of these enemies. So, this DLC fucking sucks. It's poorly designed. Yeah, people are dumb. No, you're just trash. Like, you're just trash, and yep. you're not able to reach the challenge you've set for yourself. So, how about instead of blaming the DLC for your shortcoming, Blame just yourself. use a summon, <laughs> go grab some scattered tree fragments, and enjoy it. Like, it, this doesn't need to be some kind of torturous struggle. You're yeah, because a lot of the people that are going summonless and whatnot, they're fucking doing that, and they're not YouTuber, they're not streamer, they're not a journalist, they're not, like, in any sense or form, a fucking social standing, like, expert. They're, like, not making a mark on history. They're just some dude, fucking early 20s to late, four, like, late 30s, Sitting on the couch, playing it on the console, or playing it on PC, and they they I don't know they just think that they need to play that way, and it's kind of dumb. You're not held captive at Guantanamo Bay, forced to do a level one wretch playthrough of the Elden Ring DLC. It's supposed to be fun, and it is. It it's is great. difficult, the DLC but that's so always great. been one of the big selling points of Souls games, that they're challenging. And people used to, again, spit on those that would insult the series for being hard. And now with this one, somehow the prevalent discussion has been about how it's too hard and they've gone too far this time. It's no, not just can't. Steam reviews, I've actually seen streamers saying the same thing. Which is, it's blowing my mind. Like, I actually am shocked that we're at this point where everything needs to be so hand-holdy that now, if you can't complete your challenge run of Elden Ring, because the DLC is a little more brutal than what you're used to, it's the game's fault, and From Software fucked up. It's stupid. It's really stupid. There is built-in systems here to make it easier for you. You can also use sorcery or something. Use fucking buffs. Use summons. Like, there's so many options for you to get through this DLC, and just because you're struggling to get through it with a challenge you've set for yourself, isn't the DLC's fault. No, there are real criticisms for it, though. For instance, I'm going through this DLC and I play all of Souls games summonless. I, I like to have it at the most optimal challenge imaginable because that's the most fun for me in these kind of games. That's how I feel. So I've been doing a punch-only build and I've switched it to a punch-and-kick-only build now with martial arts, and it's been extremely challenging and extremely rewarding. However, there have been two bosses so far that are actually not well made. One of them is Commander Gaius, Hog Rider. Hog Rider has two moves that come out where the hitboxes don't match the animations. No, so his yeah. charge, if you dodge it perfectly, sometimes you will still take the full impact, which often one-taps you. And also his, like, I don't even know what to call this move, but where he, like, flails around randomly and, like, fucking throws his head around like he's head-banging at a fucking bullet from my Valentine concert from 2006. That move will hit you pretty much anywhere if unless you're in his butthole so any anything aside from his colon you're still going to take damage from yeah even if you do wrong. that i was having issues rolling through that i mean there's been times where i rolled through it perfectly and got okay or i got nicked once or twice which is fine but yeah he's not wrong commander gaius a little difficult especially the charge the charge you literally have to roll from snout to butt uh, like frontal like roll you can't like roll to the side or the like side it had to be like roll from snout to butt and uh, that was the only way to get through that like relatively consistently without damage but you have to time it perfectly if you timed it wrong you're like still in the hitbox and you'll take the full brunt even though you fucking like pass his ass it that was kind of frustrating just slightly. It doesn't. It wasn't. Uh, his hitboxes need changed a little bit. Roll it right, at least most of the time. And then the other boss that has one bad set of moves is Mesmer. I actually really like Mesmer. I think he's a very, very, very cool boss. Took me 27 tries. So, so far, that is the boss that's taken me the most amount of tries in all of Elden Ring on my punch only run. 
and he was fantastic, except for one thing. His phase two, he summons snakes. The snakes' hitboxes are so fucking janky. The snake hitboxes actually They're are almost non functional really sometimes, like in the worst possible way. Like what you're seeing doesn't match what you're experiencing. Like the snake will completely fucking miss you, but then you'll still get hit sometimes. So that was a bit of a headache. So there are there is some jankiness to it that you can criticize. But to be leaving such terrible reviews only because it's difficult is absolutely juvenile. That yeah, shit is stupid. so embarrassing. So this is stupid. some of the best DLC I played. FromSoft I think has always crushed it with their DLC and this yeah, FromSoft has like the best DLC in the game. Like between any like other game besides like potentially God of War. Uh God of War uh Ragnarok with the um, DLC, that Valhalla DLC, fantastic. That is a great story. Like, uh, perfect for that game. Um, but I still think Farm Software DLC crushed that out of the water. It's sunny outside. Awesome, buddy. But I I feel like the DLC in Farm Software games blow out the main game of those like the dlc of those games blow the main game of that out of the water so like dark souls 3 dlcs blow the main game out of the water dark souls 2 blows that out of the water dark souls 1 i've never played the dlc for dark souls 1 um but the fact that you fight artorias himself amazing it's like i've seen gameplay of it the dlc um but yeah, the, all the DLC from, from from software games have been amazing and top tier and elevated. It took them two years to create this DLC for Elden Ring, and it fucking shows. The game is, the DLC is fucking great. I like, they, they planned that shit out. This one's no exception. Bosses I don't think it's great. their best DLC. I still like Bloodborne's DLC the most. But I really, really appreciate. I still haven't gone through Blood. I still haven't beat Bloodborne. I've watched people beat it. I haven't ever beat it myself. Might be something I try and go through and do. Um, potentially here soon. Um, I want to beat Bloodborne. It's something that I've always wanted to do. I just haven't had. It. Appreciate this. This is the biggest DLC I've ever played. I'm not a big DLC guy. I'd rather just get another game down the line as opposed to like a little snack of something I already enjoyed. I'd rather just get something else later that's bigger. But this DLC, I've already pumped like 15, 16 hours in and I still haven't finished. I'm loving it. It's sh I put like 40, uh, 30 hours. I'm back, so I have talking to my son. Huge. It really does feel almost like an Elden Ring 1.5. Like, it, it, it's that big. It has that... <coughs> what, bud? Yeah, triangle. Yeah, I put, like... Maybe, like, 30-ish hours in the DLC. Like, I put a lot of time in it. <coughs> There's st still two bosses I have to beat yet. Um, and, uh... I don't... I probably won't stream me doing that i will probably just do a recording because it probably won't take me more than half an hour an hour you know just kind of pointless for me to stream it because then i would end the stream after an hour when i rather um stream for a few hours if possible that much meat on its bones the girth is impressive and the music is beautiful. I love the new area. I love almost all of the new bosses, except Dude, the new area here's so a criticism that I think easy. some people might not agree with. I'm pretty upset with how many bosses are mounted. I I've already fought so many mounted bosses, and I think... I mean, there's Gaius. There's... I think that's only Gaius. There's the uh, thing just before St. Trina. There's... Two tree sentinel. There's... Oh. 
think I'm, I feel like that's all, but well, divine beast, not mountain. Well, uh, Vilana isn't good. I don't think there's that many mounted. mounted enemies are kind of the lamest because the move sets are pretty derivative, like they're pretty similar. And I just don't really like the way mounted enemies fight because usually it's a spam these couple of moves, then run away, and you're forced to kind of chase them for the punish window as opposed to getting a punish right after the moves. You kind of have to fucking chase them to get a little punish, and I don't really like that that much. But it's not the biggest deal in the world. No, I've been really that's more of a personal criticism than an actual like design criticism. Loving the DLC, but absolutely hating the conversation around it in regards to the difficulty of it. Yeah, I, hate I the don't think it's too it. hard. It's so but I have always said that the challenge of the Souls like genre is something that's always going to be a bit restrictive to some people. Not yeah, 100%. It's not made for everyone. It shouldn't be made for everyone. And I would say Elden Ring, the base game, is the easiest of any of the other souls like because of the exploration aspect of it like the rpg aspect of being able to explore and level up and find gear and stuff and find like late upgrade materials early on like the ability to do that allows you to steamroll some of the main bosses or earlier bosses because of that um it kind of gets rid of that initial skill requirement this DLC is more skill constrained. There's e there's even a harder skill cap and like requirement needed and like it, you can beat it with like using summons and stuff like that, which is fine. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. But like it start at require you to use everything at your disposal. Um you beat it if you we're already struggling with the main game. It's not use take up even more and then some of what you're capable of. It's not sap you of your fucking strength. And that's fantastic. And even more restrictive DLC is fantastic. The fact that there is the initial difficulty of the base game that requires that is required of you to overcome, like fighting Radon and Moog and whatever else to enter the DLC is fantastic uh, yeah, yeah. a second level restriction that will bar other people and it'll be a stamp of honor or like it'll it'll either be like a stamp of honor as an ego thing or just like a stamp of like i did the dlc like i was able to beat it and that's fantastic like i was able to enjoy this amazing piece of content not even peace, like, whole content. That fucking DLC is a game of its own. Everyone's going to appreciate that, and there's nothing wrong with it. Like, if it's just not your cup of tea, that's totally fine to just say, like, hey, I don't really like the challenge of this, so uh, it's not for me. Which is fine. You just don't partake in it, and that's fine. But, like, it doesn't mean the DLC is bad. It's good. Fantastic. The difficulty isn't even that... Like, I wouldn't say that difficult. It is difficult. The DLC is fucking difficult, but like, it in a way that is like good. It is a good difficult. That I have always understood, and I've mentioned that before in Moist Meters for previous Souls games. It, it, like, it is just very understandable to not want a really big challenge. But for the Elden Ring DLC, these aren't just the normal, you know, casual players coming in out of nowhere, the only way you get to the DLC is if you've already done a lot in the base game. So you should already be familiar with- Practically beat the main game, and at most, most of the content in the game to reach, like, the recommended level for the DLC, which is 150. This is what Miyazaki said, around 150 is a decent level for the DLC. Um, which makes sense. To use some of the higher damaging weapons, like big damage weapons from the main game, you are going to want to be around level 150 to get to at least reach the soft cap on damage and also to reach soft cap on your vigor, which will be a hundred and that's already 120 level. 
you do 60 and 60. And then, like, divvy up the last uh, 30 levels between, like, Endurance and whatever other stat you want to put in. To either add more damage or... Reach the stat requirement to equip some armor and still be, uh, me like, regular rolling. Um... Then you are going to want to be level 150, so it makes sense. And that, to even reach around that level, you have to beat the game. And, um, or at least play the game so well, and using boon enhancing, like, the gold pickled, uh, turkey foot thing, whatever, um, to earn more runes, that to level up a lot sooner before being a majority of the game. Or majority of the content, um, that would make sense, you know. With the challenge Elden Ring presents, thus going into the DLC, I really think you should have come in with the understanding that it's going to be hard. It shouldn't be hard. If it was anything less than difficult, it'd be very disappointing and a far cry be. from what made this genre so special. A lot more people would be upset if the DLC was too easy than it was too difficult. Because that. <laughs> You'd have the people that beat the DLC, didn't think it was too difficult, they would be mad. Because, granted, there would be a lot of people who saying it was difficult would say it's good. Or they might even say it's too easy and complain that it's too easy. Special people too in the first place. And I don't think they've done anything the difficulty you know, is great. nefarious with no, the scaling are. of the, the difficulty here. It's not too hard. You're making it harder on yourself by not collecting the material they put in here to make it easier. Or not using certain mechanics to make it easier with some- What, buddy? Yeah. You can get to anything? Yeah, I can, huh? Whoa, that's cool, buddy. Uh oh. Yeah. Summoning or sorceries or really strong weapons that have really good abilities. Like there are so many options There's that you can use here to, to help use. you through the challenging portions of this game. And you can't start pointing the fucking finger at the game itself just because you're refusing to do those things because you think it's beneath you or something or maybe it's shameful. I, I don't really know. But it's not the DLC's fault that okay. you want to go through the game in the most difficult way imaginable and then be mad about that when you have all the power in the world not to. You can just use something better or go yes, get options, the scattered tree fragments. Like, you have so many options. There's so options. I really think it's a very weak reason to be, you know, leaving such terrible reviews of the DLC. Like I said, there are real reasons not to like it. Like, it's, it's not perfect. No, nothing ever is. Uh, a, a lot of reviews I've seen point to performance problems. I haven't had any performance problems, but if that is a like a prevalent issue with the DLC, then that's something that does make sense too. Like that would be a reason to leave a negative review. Nothing wrong with that. It makes sense. It's just performance based calling it too is difficult is so silly. I can't sense, believe we've reached this point now. It's not very not interesting to see. That's about fun. it. See ya. I'd like to begin this video. Yeah, that's another video I'll react to. Probably not today. Hope you've got your umbrellas. I'm already uh, out because it's about to start. I'm already doing two videos, and I think that is plenty enough. But um, this is gonna take a long time to upload, anyways. Um, but yeah, good video. Uh, I loved his passionate rant. Um, 
yeah no it definitely a lot of the difficulty like people complain about difficulty is up and there's ways around that there's ways to beat the bosses a lot of people are just choosing to play a specific way and not going about like changing their way of play to better accommodate for their play style or their skill level um and it's kind of dumb that the dlc is getting such negative reviews based on difficulty when like like he said like live uh be a gamer live long enough as a gamer and you can potentially turn into a uh game journalist and he's not wrong about that that's the hardest line of 2024 um anyways thank you guys for watching uh i'm gonna get started on working on my dlc review and then i will catch you guys later cool.